Hi, it's Cobra Wars, and I'm back again with another review. This time I'm reviewing Evasion Mode Optimus Prime from Transformers 4 Age of Extinction. So here he is in the package. He's got some artwork down there. The artwork actually shows his the dirty version of the paint job. Can you see, I don't know if you can see it there. Can you see if you can see it better? The dirty version of the paint job that he sports in the movies, the blue and red with the blue-red flames. But the figure itself is the classic red and blue. So there he is in the box, nice and you know, nice and neat like they are right now. The the white box with the red lettering, and the artwork. Um, down here it says. Uh, Transformers Generations, Voyager Class. The back, like Grimlock's box, has the picture of him in robot, in vehicle, shows the other figures in this line of the size, has a, a bio, and the bio says, Auto Optimus Prime and the Autobots are faced with a new kind of war. Alliances that once were strong now stand in doubt. Nonetheless, Earth needs their protector more than ever. Optimus Prime adapts, redesign, redesigning his alternate mode so he can move unrecognized. If he cannot fight the battle with firepower on the front lines, he can fight and convert maneuvers from the edge. So, I wanted this figure mostly because of this mode right here in the paint job. It looks like the classic Optimus Prime, which I'm super stoked for. To have this style of figure, actually, I do like the robot mode, but having this figure with the classic colors, I just think is amazing. I'm sure we will see down the line a repaint of this figure with the classic movie colors of the red, the blue with the red flames. But for right now, we got a classic G1 colored Optimus. So excited. Can't wait to get him out of the box and uh, talk about the figure. So let me get him unboxed and then we'll go from there. Okay, so it's Cobra Wars here and I have Optimus out of the box. Um, I transformed him, transformed him to truck mode uh, to start the review because this is the mode that I was most excited about. And I love it. It looks very classic G1. Uh, just the, the the way the truck is. The only downside I have with it is the back is wide open. It's not a very good um, shell or pieces closing to make it complete looking from the back. But from the side, it has his Autobot logo right there. From the front. Just everything about this figure, just I love it. I love it as a truck. I love it. So here he is. Um, posability, there isn't really any heat key rolls. That's, that's his opposability right here in this mode. Um, awesome, awesome classic Mack truck. Uh, he does come with the accessory of a gun that's spring loaded. It has a missile. I left the missile in the bag because I don't want it to get lost. You can, they have it so you can put the gun right there on top. Looks a little weird. They also have a place where it's a little less obvious. So when you're storing it, it's on his on his uh, hookup for his trailer. That's the one thing I really wish that they had done for this figure, is giving him a trailer. Um, kind of sad that he doesn't have a trailer. I think he'd look fantastic with a trailer. Um, I hope somebody puts a trailer out for this figure specifically, because that would just be awesome. Um, G1 Prime is probably a favorite of mine, though just the G1 in general. Um, G1 growing up in the 80s it was it was a classic it was a staple of Saturday mornings of coming home after school so this this color scheme this kind of truck very reminiscent for me very memory driven so that's why I'm glad that we finally have a movie version of this prime like this um, wish it was bigger this is a Voyager, Voyager class 
but holding it and looking at it, um, I wish I had a deluxe. I do have a deluxe class right here. Here's a deluxe class next to it. Yeah, it's not. It's it feels deluxe size. It doesn't feel Voyager size. Um. That's my one gripe about this figure is that it's not the size of it is just off um, a lot. It's a big. It should be a big truck, not small like this. So anyway, I'm gonna get him transformed, and then I'll be back to talk to you about the robot mode. Okay, so. I don't do the reviews with uh, transforming simply for the fact that sometimes the transformations go haywire. It makes you feel a little awkward uh, doing them and having somebody watch. Uh, transforming him is very simple, very straightforward. Um, it's not hard to transform at all. The hardest part are his arms, getting them up and over to be the cab of the roof. But here he is in robot mode. And again, he looks like the classic G1 Optimus Prime, which is fantastic. I love it. The blue, the red, the gray, very, very awesome. Um, the sculpting on this figure, too, is, is great. Um, let's see if we can get a good look at some of it. My camera will co ah, cooperate. Focus, focus. Okay, maybe. There we go. I mean, he's got intricate detailing sculpting on. In it. Oh, no, I'll focus again. But anyway, he has intricate detail sculpting right there on in the arm sockets. Um, the face. It's a mixture of the movie. It looks like NG1 uh, face. It looks like they concluded the lips, but his head looks very much more G1, I think. The one part where this figure for me kind of falls short is. Um, size it's I wish it was bigger um, let's just for comparison sake do this there's prime there's sound wave from fall of Cybertron and as you can see let's see if I can get better side by side here or even put prime in front of of him as you can see sound wave is the bigger figure. That's the one downside I have for this. Um, this figure is the size. I'm gonna get Grimlock real quick, who's already in robot mode, and kind of give you a side by side of Grimlock in uh, Prime. Grimlock has this like nasty habit of wanting to fall on his face because his feet suck. That's one thing I've noticed about this figure is that his feet are not, or at least mine, are not very sturdy. They want to lean forward. So, sorry. But there's, there's Grimlock and Prime. And I don't know if the video is showing very well, but Grimlock is slightly smaller than Prime. Kind of disappointing with that. I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the leader figures again, and maybe down the line I will get the leader figure of both Prime and um, Grimlock. Um, this Prime obviously isn't meant to be the movie Prime. I think I mean they've already shown that he's gonna be back with the flames. This is just when he was hiding. So I think they just you know they they threw that in there for the fans of the old cartoon, the old show. Um, classic colored prime, classic truck shape, because like I said, already in the trailers and the other toys that are out, the, especially the leader, it's the blue truck with red flames this time around. Um, the snub nose instead of the this one. So anyway, back to this figure. His gun. Sorry, I got on a tangent, but his gun goes in his hand. It fits nicely. It's nice and snug. And, uh, you know, he can lift it and aim it. Um, looks good down at his side, too. 
my problem, I, so like I said, my problem is the size because they released a bumblebee that's called high octane bumblebee, but it's also supposed to be the bumblebee when bumblebee is in hiding. And I know when I transform bumblebee and put it next to prime, it's going to be completely out of scale and look weird with a semi truck and a sports car that are similar in size. Size is a huge issue with me with Transformers. Um, overall, though, for 25 bucks, I say you can't go wrong with this figure. I think it's a decent figure. The posability is kind of you know really good. He's got elbow joints. His wrists rotate. Um, they're a little awkward just because of how they're positioned with this plat. You know this red piece right here. Um, his bicep has a swivel joint, which annoys me a little bit. His his shoulders have good range of motion sorry um, he's got weight he's got waist articulation which is part of the transformation um, he's got good leg uh, hip I mean hip no no thigh articulation but he says his knees do bend his ankles go up and down and they give him ankle tilts he has ankle tilts for those who love ankle tilts um, so overall for a collector standpoint, a great figure to add to your collection. From a playability standpoint, he's a decent figure. And little kids would love him too. I think a little more effort could have been put into it. I think it could have been released as a leader figure. As a variant, maybe, um, for those who wanted it. But anyway, this is the figure. I love it. I can't wait to get High Octane Bumblebee and put them next to them on my shelf even though they're going to be a little off in size this has been Cobra Wars and I say go get yourself Evasion Optimus Prime and have a good time until we see you next week